Hi, I'm Christy Nelson here with your connection and a look at what's happening in North Texas. The United States is seeing a growing number of measles cases, a disease that was eradicated 20 years ago. Health officials say the uptick happens every year during the busy travel seasons when unvaccinated people travel and then expose others who don't have immunity. And as of this week, there are 60 confirmed cases of measles in the United States for the year so far. That is already more than the 58 cases reported nationwide for all of last year. Hotspots include Florida, Illinois, California, and Arizona. Texas is not on the list, but health officials are ramping up their pleas to families to double check whether their children are up to date on vaccines. During COVID, there was a lot of uh, decrease in vaccination rates, uh, but then not only for the lockdown, but people, um, decrease their, their faith in vaccination. So once they we reopen, the vaccination rates haven't reached prior to COVID rates. And there is this myth that vaccine with uh, against measles is linked to autism, but there are no medical uh, studies that have proven that. There is no correlation with, with this. So I, I guess there's still a lot of parents that uh, fear this. Doctors say it is important for families to check with the local health department where they're traveling as we head towards summer. And again, these warnings really only apply to people who have not gotten the vaccine. Let's check in with Kevin Smith now for a look yes. at our lovely weather. Lovely weather to start out the work and school week kills. I hate to say with that. So here we go with the tower cam, at least in the Denton County at the courthouse, showing nothing but a lot of blue sky. A little bit of some gray, some high clouds are pushing across the area, but that's about it. With that H that's off to the north of it says high pressure. Whenever you have high pressure, that means nice conditions. But uh, we do have the pollen count, maple, oak, and hackberry at high levels, not only today, but for your Tuesday. But for today, we have those high temperatures right around 60 degrees, a nice day. That's actually below normal. The normal high is at 69 degrees. We're into 55 or so into Sherman, 56 in the bottom, 59 into Weatherford, and we're 59 in the Van Zandt County. Take a look at these uh, Tuesday morning temperatures. Possibility of some frost up toward Paris, the freezing mark, 32 degrees, 35 in McKinney, 39 into Granbury. But with the south southwesterly wind, we'll see those high temperatures seasonable back into the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. Now, I do have some rain chances picking up at least into Thursday at 40 percent, and we have 21 more days until the eclipse, but you have more on that, Christy, right? Yep, I do. Thanks so much, Kevin. <laughs> Sold out hotels, viewing parties, camping, and more. Small towns and cities throughout Texas are sharing the global spotlight for the total solar eclipse, which is now less than a month away. And one of the most popular destinations is the Texas Hill Country. While some counties have issued a disaster declaration in anticipation of the record-breaking crowds, the city of Bern tells Alicia Barrera that they don't want to dim the excitement. Welcome to Bernie, Texas, population 22,000. It's still just got the small town charm that I love and the people are really kind. The colorful storefronts and historic buildings preserve its beauty and for many serve as a retreat from the city. We're less than two hours from Austin. We're 30 minutes from San Antonio. Today's talk of the town, Bernie's three minute, 23 second solar eclipse totality on April 8th. So I've been waiting for this for years, so it's amazing. And how could you miss that? It's gonna be like a cosmic event. How could you possibly miss it here? The cosmic event, even making wedding bells ring. Uh, there's a couple who was coming into town from out of state and they wanted to be married during the total eclipse. And while no city sponsored event is planned, we have Bernie's director of communications, Chris Shadrock says, the like. they've been working behind the scenes with authorities, businesses, and his chamber of commerce. They have extra food that day. They've got extra cash that day. All of those things to be prepared for an influx of visitors and customers. If it's anything like our big events that we have, it's going to be crazy. Lacey Retzolf owns two boutiques in town, and she's helping plan a solar eclipse themed market that will not only help boost local economy, but allow visitors to take a piece of Bernie history back home. It's a great opportunity for all the businesses here because we're going to have lots of people. We've had people calling from like all over the United States saying they're coming to Bernie to see it. So we're very excited. In Bernie, Alicia Barrera, NBC5. And you can look for continuing coverage leading up to the eclipse. On April 8th, we will broadcast live from the lawn at Reunion Tower and at more than a dozen sites across North Texas and beyond. Thanks so much for catching up with The Connection.